Hello everybody and welcome back to Outlast. We had just fallen from the sky, didn't we? Yeah. Some crazy stuff's about to go down. I guess. I'm just walking over a body. Okay, that's normal. Now, I have completely... That whole first episode... I wasn't worried about being scared at all. It's almost like I forgot that this was a scary game. And I took everything in stride. Like it was no big deal. And I just kind of remembered that, hey, guess what? This game kind of is a big deal, and is probably scary at some point. I completely forgot about I was playing a horror game. I mean, it was alright because it was really only like one jump scare. But still, I should probably be prepared for more. So here we go. We are doing something. We're the whistleblower. And we're running from Wall Rider. Probably some other guy. Oh, this isn't good. Sounds like Chris. Remember, he's still alive. I don't think he'd be eating people, though. But I've been wrong before. Oh, look at that! I wonder who is cooking these people up. I wonder if they know their hands are almost done. Boiled hands, you gotta be very, very careful with their cook times. If you have them in for too long, it'll completely ruin them. And believe me, you can tell the difference. What am I doing? No, just open the damn door. Oh yeah, that's a mess. Excuse me, sir. Are you the one cooking your hands? They're almost done. Wow. Is that Chris? No, I ain't Chris. I was gonna say, Chris isn't that crazy. Sure, he rips people's heads off, but he doesn't chop them up and eat them. <laughs> Hello! He just- oh, he did just break- oh, that guy is missing a head. Don't look at us. I love him. Oh. Well, you continue loving him, and I'm going to go elsewhere. Um, did he just eat that heart in one bite? The human heart's pretty big, okay? It's definitely not gonna fit into one's mouth at one shot. Okay, yeah, you're crazy, dude. Yeah, you keep doing that, I'm gonna walk away. Hold on, let me read that. Um, excuse me. Thank you. <laughs> In the cannibal's kitchen. Don't ask to see my body, Lisa, when I die. When you finish the lawsuits that let you pry this footage from Murkoff's army of lawyers and corporate hitmen, don't make them show you my body. Just bury it or burn it. Let my sons remember me whole. That man is eating human flesh. He looks at me and I see anger. A little desire, but more than anything, ang hunger, hunger. Please don't make me them show you me body, yeah. One thing I forgot to mention is, um... Okay, Murkoff Corp. Big, giant, evil industry, okay. Yet they hire an outside IT guy. Why? You think with all the evil scientists and evil security guards they have working in this place, they'd be able to find an evil, oh boy, this is bad, an evil computer guy. But no, they hire us. Oh, this is real bad. Lockers, someone's gonna be chasing us. We're just gonna sprint into it. Oh. That was it. I figured there'd be a jump scare. Better just to sprint headlong into it than have to deal with it. I made it! I think it's safe. Can you climb up? I'm coming, Cooper! I just have to lock the... There. I'm coming! Hold on! I don't know who's talking. <laughs> I was thinking, okay, maybe it's a... Uh... Oh, look. I can jump up here. I was thinking maybe it was Father Martin talking to, uh, Miles, but that's still a long times away. 
Oh boy. Sounds like Saw Guys here. <laughs> oh yeah, that's him. So we have a new fear, or new foe. It's not Chris. It ain't the Naked Twins. It's Saw Guy. Good old Saw Guy. Hello. Oh, he better not be naked. I swear to God, if he's naked and I have to run from another naked guy and do more... He's naked, isn't he? Oh, I don't know. It looks like he might be wearing underwear. Mine! You were mine! Oh, I'm stuck. I can't tell or not. Oh, God, that's bright. Out of my way, out of my way, out of my way, out of my way, out of my... Hoop! Jump it. Oh, no. Dead end. Out of my way, out of my way, out of my way. There was a door there that was cracked open I want to try to get to. However, I gotta lose this guy first. There's a door here. Locked. Okay, where you at? Come on, bro. Where you at, broski? Okay, we dodged him. The door is right here. That was the wrong door. I can't see anything. My batteries need to reload. Oh, there he is. Hello. <laughs> close it. Okay, don't close it. I'm stuck again. I have no idea where I am at. Climb up. Oh my god. Oh, you suck. What just happened? I thought I was dead the first time, but he just hit me as I was climbing, that son of a bitch. <sighs> I've died twice already. <laughs> yeah, just take your goddamn time. Ow, it's so bright. I made it. Oh, it's you. Hey, battery. <laughs> Okay. Uh huh. I'm trying to understand what he's saying. I hope he's my pet now. He's following me. Oh, that's not a good noise. Someone's breaking into something. Oh, it's Saw Guy again, isn't it? I hope my pet distracts him. I think he gave up. Oh yeah, there's a lot of death around here now, isn't there? Hey, case files. The song, the music stopped. That can't be good. Oh, someone's reading. Nerd up. Nerd up. Ethan, really long, confusing last name. Shurjik <laughs> Dakdara. That was bad. Uh, notes. This is a request for a specific legal consultation. In the ongoing lawsuit by Melissa Cho against Murkoff Charitability Psychiatric Inc. USA, originally filed in 2010. At this time, Ms. Cho's termination, the psychomatic effects of the morphogenic engine on female employees and patients have well have been well established. Oh, maybe this explains why there's no females here. Already more than seven female employees and patients have reached fictitious half-term pregnancies in a matter of weeks before miscarrying the non-existent children five of them fatally. Female employees were moved to higher floors in the facility, then to other buildings, and eventually off of Mount Massive Facility. The critical secrecy of Project Walrider necessitated secrecy of in the <laughs> motivating factor for the reassignments and terminations, resulting in perceived injustice from several terminated parties. Ms. Cho has succeeded in acquiring a court-ordered FOIA release uh, documents surrounding her termination. Those documents need, will need to generate post-dated provided... 
That explains it. Okay, I was gonna say, my biggest problem with this game is there's no females. <laughs> and that explains it. Sure, that might be a cop-out in making the game, but at least they took the effort in to make it make sense. I can appreciate that. Here comes Saw Guy. Is he gonna chase me back up here? Probably. I'm not gonna even look behind me. I don't know where he went. We're not gonna see the last of him. Or well, that wasn't the last of him. We're gonna see more of him. Okay, here we go. What the hell's happening in this big dark room? Oh, this is bad. Saw guy? No, thank God. What's in here? Probably nothing good. Places to hide. Yeah. No batteries. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Jump scare! Nope. <laughs> not on this day. Well, not yet. It could, it could very well be on this day, but not yet. Okay, that's locked. What's happening over here? Saw guy? Oh dear god, what the hell? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm pushing buttons. My guess is this is the crematorium. Why do I have a feeling I'm gonna end up on one of these things? Oh good, I've trapped myself. Classic Toad. Classic Jim. Classic me. What? There was somebody on one. Oh, this guy. Oh, I'm sorry. You're not done yet. Okay, you can go again. Oh, that fire's out. Oh no, that fire's not out. What am I doing? <laughs> There it is! You know, I knew that was gonna happen! Oh, you crazy. Chris, save me! Are you giving up? Oh, I'm on a tray. Stay there. And cook! Yes, sir. Mr. Hobo. Oh, I gotta find a way out of here. Really? I guarantee you, there would not be, this is not a real thing. There's no way there'd be, like, nothing on the other side of that. Oh, come on. You just put me in a fire, dude. Leave me the hell alone. What was I even saying? Nothing, there's no way that that would happen. Am I stuck in here now? Is he gonna come in? Am I gonna have to hide? Is there a vent? There's a vent. That's not a vent. I'm not one who waits. Can I go back? Oh, he's pissed. Hello, Steam. <laughs> what the hell am I doing? I don't like all these hiding places. If this even is a hide. This is a hiding place. I'm not finding any batteries either. If you're gonna piss away my time, please hand me some batteries. Am I supposed to go out back through the door? Oh, that's probably where I have to go through. The door he attacked me from. So he's probably out here somewhere. Hey, a ladder! I can do one of two things. I can climb the ladder or go into this room. Exit. Okay, I'm gonna climb the ladder. <laughs> See what's happening up here. There's a dead guy. Is there nothing up here? Why would I climb this ladder? Oh. Which way am I supposed to go? 
See, now I have no idea. Oh, good job. My, is is this the way to go or is this a secret? This is the way to go, isn't it? So down there was the secret. Oh well, can't win them all. <laughs> can't win them all. Oh, that's a wall rider. Oh, there he goes. Yep, that's a wall rider. <coughs> Now there's a vent here that I can't go into. What is happening to my brain? Did I reach? Oh no, there we go. I'm gonna say, where else am I supposed to go now? Don't worry. Oh, that's a big fall. And I land fine. Oh, look at my toes. I can see my toes. Cute. Ow. God, that's great. Oh, there's a battery in there. I hate it when they do that to me. I want that. I can't get it. Can't get it. The game hates me. Don't scare. Nope. Where am I right now? Oh, this is bad written all over it. Let's go the bright way. Is that Saw Guy? That Saw Guy. I don't know where Saw Guy is. He's probably gonna make his way downtown. Man, he's annoying. He's worse than Chris. Mainly because he might actually be naked. I still have yet to decide if he's naked. Saw Guy. I'm getting closer. Where the hell did he get a saw anyways? What I want to know. That'd be a good question to, um... Ask. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm waiting for a jump scare to happen. So I'm, I'm saving. Oh, found it. Ah! Ah, crap. What am I supposed to do now? Okay, here we go. Here's the plan. Jump the desk! Haha! <laughs> the classic alley-oop. Hasn't failed me yet. I hope this is the way! Oh god, I'm stuck. Jump it! Keep on going. Here we go! That light is flashing! I did it! I did it! Go team! Hey, it's Father Martin! I think. Okay, jump scare! Nope. Where the hell am I? Where the hell am I? It'd be nice if I found a battery on the floor somewhere. There's another dead guy. Dead guys. Turn it off! Shut down the gas! I can't. I can't. Oh. Why is the airlock killing him? Do you know how many airlocks I've been in? In my Outlast journey? A bunch. <laughs> At least three. If I could round the number, it's three. Can I not come through this hole? No, I can. Conveniently placed hole? Oh, this place is a mess. Oh, look. Notes. Give me them notes. More reading. More long reading. Influencing human behavior. Operations of TSD. The potential use of psychochemicals in political action operations is well recognized, although it has not been explored as thoroughly as it might be expected. Chemical Division includes it as an objective of its program to be prepared to support or make such operations possible. Non-chemical methods of accomplishing political action operations are also included in the program. Present the above MK Ultra excerpt from Technical Services Division for budgeting and authorization of continued research into of Dr. Rudolf Warneck. 
in the Project Wall Rider, autopsy of recovered test subject shows chemical content of bodies um, that indicates heavy psychochemical dosage. So is this like a um, an outside group searching or investigating Markov? That's what it sounded like. I don't know though. I don't know. Jump scare. Nope. One of these times it's gonna happen. Jump scare. Told ya! <laughs> wow. It's this guy. <laughs> oh, I miss this guy. This is my favorite guy. <laughs> I bet you there's a million jokes I could come up with about, like, reasons to be knocking your head on the wall, but... In case anybody else has already come up with those jokes, I'm not going to say them. Can I turn it off here? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. My stomach actually hurts from laughing. Okay, where the hell am I? I should open the door on him. Oh, I can't. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a turned over bed. That means I'm going to be sprinting through here. Running from someone. What is this? Hide under bed. I don't want to hide under the bed. I just want to find a battery. The way to go. Hey, a vent. I, ch I don't know if this is it, but probably. Like... I've mentioned- oh god, this is bad. I, I'm gonna be chased. No doubt in my mind. What was I even saying? Told ya. Ah. Oh, he's right here. I can smell you! Oh, he's not naked! Out of my way! Out of my way, jerkass! Oh god. Oh, you suck so much. Stand up! Don't! Dead again! This guy. This guy's relentless. He's a pain in the ass. So where- I guess I'm supposed to jump up in here. Jump down here. Get around him this way. Find the door. I ran the wrong way. Damn it. Okay. Oh, here's- this light's flashing. I don't know what I'm doing! <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing! I'm completely confused! Although... Oh, come on! That should slow him down. Oh! I found it! <laughs> I'm in a bathroom. <laughs> I found it, but I'm in a bathroom. Oh, there's a door here. There's a bed here. Ain't no batteries nowhere. Oh god, this is bad. So I'm... Where am I? Batteries? Saving spot? I, I kind of need to wrap this up soon. Okay, I'm just going to assume every closed door is locked and I'm not going to even bother. What the hell was that? I don't know what the hell that was. I'm just going to ignore it. <laughs> That's the safest bet. Just ignore it. There's more- oh, got more notes! A safe spot would be nice! Well, might as well read. A lot of reading. A lot of reading this episode. Maybe that's what I'll call this episode. Frank Antonio Manera. Age 36, gender male. 
Um, case number 209, Dr. Carl Houston. Therapy status, minimal morphogenic engine activity and only at extreme stages 5 and 6 levels of hormone therapy. Dream states return repeatedly to images of isolation and betrayal, zero lucid state. Diagnostics, heavy bronchital accumulation consistent with patients with histories of tobacco and marijuana, especially low REM activity. Don't do drugs or smoke. Interview notes. At the time of this interview, Frank was down to 155 pounds from admission weight 228. He was lethargic and largely non-responsive, exhibiting interest only in hypo hypnotherapy, script nine, pattern 9, Wernick, considering drinking blood from the chest of a sleeping man. He continues to refuse baths or the attention of Barbara outside general... Okay. This is the guy who's chasing us. Recommended force new nutrition for Mr. Monera if we cannot find something he likes to eat. This is the guy. What's his name? Frank. Chris and Frank. First there was Chris and now there's Frank. Ah, freaking Frank. I can hear his buzzsaw. He is crazy. Go away. Oh. This is my place. Hey, buddy. You gotta get me killed. Oh, this, this guy's dead as soon as I open this. How do I open this? Huh? Where'd that guy go? What the hell? There should be a button here. Nope. 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 Okay. I'm looking for saving now. That's all I want to see in the bottom corner. It's saving. Hey, and there it is! I need to end this here! <laughs> wow, that was a pretty good episode so far. I don't know how long this game is. It is just DLC, but... I don't know how many more episodes we have. Hopefully many more, because I like Outlast a lot. So, thank you all for watching. Is this notes? No. Leave a like and a favorite if you enjoyed. They help out a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you next time.